Hello, this is Jani from www.jannyfrank.com and this is a creativity session. <laughs> So, what is the A word? The A word is a word that is being bandied about. The self-development, self-expression and art world a lot at the moment and its authenticity. And I wanted to talk quickly about three ways to help your art to be more authentic and to connect with your more authentic voice as an artist. And I do define art in a very broad way. I think any expression that you're putting out there into the world this could certainly apply to. So, how to make authentic art? <laughs> Point number one is to cut the comparisons. The biggest killer of authenticity in art is trying to make your art look like somebody else's. And the, the reason people do that is that they compare their work, um, we all do it, compare our work to the work of others in our field, very often others that have done quite well, and we try to make our work more like theirs. This is a result of actually a very good feature that artists have, and that is that we have excellent taste. And we love our art form, and we admire the, the, the more successful versions of our art form. And so it's quite natural that we try to make our work a little bit more like the things that we've seen and really admired. The, it, whilst it's okay to be uh, influenced by other artists, in fact it's quite hard not to be, to be honest. It's very, very important that you cut the comparing, tell the comparey block monster to go do something else for a while and ensure that you are making your work from a deep place inside yourself rather than from a place of comparison to somebody else's work. So that's point number one to make your art as authentic as possible by cutting the comparisons to other artists. The second point is to cut the fluff. Um, the fluff is something that we've become very used to. Um, art has come to us a lot of the time through uh, mainstream media, it's come through publishers, film companies, record companies, and there's a lot of glitz and fluff around this, um, this area. But when you're an artist speaking directly to your audience, perhaps using uh, social media, YouTube, self-publishing and so on, um, that fluff can come across as horribly inauthentic. Um, so it's really, really important to just cut the fluff and get down to the bare bones of your artwork. And you can always polish it up and develop it later, and that's fine. But you can also become very bogged down in trying to make it look as if it was done you know, by a, a mainstream film company when, when actually it's something that you've done or you, you can, yeah, it, it just doesn't work, <laughs> the fluff. Um, so that's point number two, to make your art more authentic, cut the fluff. And the last point, the third point, and the most important point of all, um, in order to recognise authenticity when it's happening in your work, is to look for resistance, look for fear, look for that panic that starts rising in you when you think about sharing a piece of work, when you think about putting it out there. And this is a, a beautiful clue that your work is successfully authentic, because we are all worried about showing our vulnerabilities, our inner selves, um, that's a natural worry. And so when you feel that um, fear rising in you of putting a piece of work out there, that's generally an indicator that the piece of work is nicely authentic and I'm afraid it means you ne need to put it out there really. So those are my three tips in this creativity session um, for making your artwork as authentic as possible. So you're cutting the comparisons, you're cutting the fluff and you're looking for that fear and resistance in order to recognise your authentic voice. And the last little minor point I will make is that I very often recognise and believe that an artist's, um, what we see as our mistakes or flaws, are very often what give us our authentic voice. So there's little quirks, those little things that make us different, are actually the things that give us an authentic voice, whether it's a wobbly line when you're drawing, or an overly heavy line, or perhaps when you're singing, you have a mannerism that, that you feel quite self-conscious about. Very often, these are the very things that make our art unique and special and authentic. So don't worry about them too much. I hope you found this session useful. 
Please do tell me what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, please subscribe and sign up to my mailing list at www.jannyfrank.com for loads more videos, tips, a monthly prompt and a free e-course. It's well worth signing up, I'm telling you. And I will see you at the next creativity session. Bye bye. <laughs>